my YouTube. This is a Mac 6 for another YouTube video. I know it's been a long time since my last video. It's just been a year, I think. Uh, or, uh, or it will be a year next month, but I, re I apologize for this. Um, today's uh, subject is um, the failure of hard disk drive that you could actually repair yourself. And it's also a video to bust a myth that when you take the cover of an hard disk drive, it will die <laughs> instantly, which is absolutely false, at least for a low density hard disk. A modern hard drive like this 500 gigabyte hard drive, it's pretty much sure you will destroy it uh, in the seconds you take the cover off of it. But for older hard drive, the story is a little bit different. Uh, so, the two uh, failures of hard drives that you could actually repair yourself is for old drive, for example, and it will only work for old drive. Uh, so, the first failure I have with old hard disk drive is if they, they've not have been powered up uh, in years, uh, what may happen is that the bearing of the motor turning the platter will um, seized resulting in when you just switch computer on you don't hear any hard drive sound or maybe a, just a little clicking no click noise not like a clicking noise but just a little tick noise yeah it's better tick noise it will do a little little thing noise but there would be no uh, sound of spinning in the drive itself. This failure is absolutely easy to repair and I've done it lots of time with old quantum hard disk try especially um, some old western digital I think some old corner hard disk drive as well and it works 99% of the time so what you do is don't remove the cover huh? just take the hard drive and you slap it like that uh, not don't do this on the concrete floor. Of course, you can do this on carpets and on desks. It's fine on the desk, not a, a glass desk, obviously, but uh, it's fine on a wood desk like this. And you just slam it, not quite hard actually, but not from re re high. Just like I don't know, five ten centimeters from the desk, and you. Lamy on the desk and it will if you're lucky it will unstuck the bearing uh, of the of the the motor or you could uh, leave the uh, power jack uh, the molex uh, on the hard disk and just do this it, it might work also there is another type of failure that you could actually repair itself, and there is two methods for this. Uh, on the modern hard drive like that, this failure has been removed at least because the head don't park on the platter itself, but on a, on, on this re, on this reserved area where the the head just parked. Uh, doing so, it won't prevent the, uh, the little rubber thing that there is. I don't think it will focus fine, but just not on the head itself, but on the head assembly, there is a little, um, little, little um, rubber thing that just will slide across the platter. But if the hard drive isn't bit power in years and rubber will degrade, as you know, rubber is rubber degrade with years, and you can't do anything to this. The rubber will start to stick to the parking uh, zone of the platter and the platter is stuck. You have actually one meter to repair so you can slam the hard drive it might work but if it don't work and this is the method I'm gonna use today you just unscrew the top uh, of the hard drive so you just remove the cover and you carefully just put the, your and right here and you when the hard drive is running when the hard drive is running and the head wouldn't move from this parking zone you just do that and the head the head will move don't touch the bladder 
and don't touch the head itself, just the assembly like this. And you do this and the, 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 the head will move on the platter and after that the hard drive will boot just fine. You could do this to recover the data, but if it's the case, um, it will likely when you just um, take power off uh, of the hard disk, it will likely um, do that again when you turn it back on. I mean, when the 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 head will just park itself when you pull the power off, and well, uh, when you time to turn it back on it would be exactly the same issue as it was before so that said um, you could actually repair an hard disk uh, this method like I said it's temporary it's just to save your data you can't back up your data with this um, but it will not save the hard disk the hard disk is doomed uh, the hard disk is absolutely doomed uh, it will die you know and there is no question about this, you can't save it, but you could save your data that is on it. So that's it, uh, you could save your data. Oh yeah, let's, let's think, why I said um, low uh, data density hard disk, or, or low capacity hard disk, because with a low capacity hard drive, you have a bigger head, a lower density on the platter so if one dust particle is 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 on the platter and if the head don't crash down it it would just mark um, as a bad sector one bad sector but with this type of modern hard drive a dust particle represent not one bad sector but a lot of bad sector and the head is closer to the platter so that mean with you need to have a, a, even if there is a little little particle of dust on it it could just uh, kill the head and that could crush on the platter and it's finished for your data at the end <laughs> so don't do that with a modern hard drive and modern hard drive doesn't have this type of failure uh, I don't see it on a modern hard drive the oldest, uh, the newest sorry I have seen this type of failure on is um, from 94 I think so <laughs> quite a old hard drive uh, so today, the hard drive that I will do my experimentation on is the hard drive of this PowerBook 100 um, Macintosh. And I've done it a couple of times on this one because, you know, I couldn't find any replacement 2.5 inch SCSI hard disk drive because they have become quite rare. And they're not cheap, they're very expensive. Uh, I, when I said I couldn't find one, I, I, I do find I find one, but uh, it's it's not worth to buy it because it's it's like three times the price that I've paid the computer, so <laughs> it's absolutely not worth it. Um, so when I want to use this computer, I just take the hard drive, take the cover of the hard drive, and I didn't void the warranty because they put the warranty sticker right there, so the warranty isn't void. And which is kind of funny because you could actually open the hard drive without void with voiding the warranty, um, which expired long ago, of course. But this is our project um, computer, and your project hard drive is right here. It's a corner 20 megabyte hard disk drive. So um, let's go. Leave the cover. And you actually pull the head out of the parking, and now the hard disk is booting. You just after that you just put the screw back on the hard disk, and like you will see on the screen, the hard disk the the uh, the the power book just boot fine, so you just put back the. As you can screw. see, it's definitely working. It's running seven system seven point point one. The hard drive is here, so I do get information. 
and you can see it said 13.2 megs of this drive initialized on uh, Thursday 25 October 1991 at 8.48 a.m. and I, I didn't cheat, I mean I just moved the head and the hard drive boots and it's not the only, not the first time I've done it on this one and so far I've not had any problem with the hard disk itself not bas no back sector or something like this, it's just absolutely fine except it wouldn't start on its own which is unfortunate, <laughs> I would say because like I said, so was, uh, ICSI hard disk drives are really expensive um, let me try something and we go into the system folder and launch an old antivirus program for Macintosh which is called, which is called Disinfecta um, actually there is not only the PC that had viruses back then and still is Mac still have viruses and uh, they used to have it and they still have it this is the upload screen of the program which is quite nice with a little music maybe I could get the screen a little bit brighter, no I can't um, as for the screen, it's not that bad for 100 power buck it's it starts to delaminate right here but it's I've, I've seen a lot worse there is a, a, a spot right here where it's white on it a white spot and there's black mac here and uh, a dust behind the screen here it's not that bad actually uh, as for disinfectant, we scan the hard disk because you know to just show you that it could scan all the hard drive without stopping on any file uh, on it and not have any clicking noise. Well, to see to just prove you that it it is in fact in good working order and there is no bad sector hidden somewhere or something. Uh, I would have launched. Um, uh, not on utilities on this thing to show you that there is no bad sector but unfortunately it's not installed on this, on this hard disk and uh, uh, the external floppy disk drive broke uh, and I don't want to take uh, an old, another Macintosh and to, put, to put it in Apple Talk in order to install the program but uh, believe me it works fine it's, it's can the hard, it scans the hard disk right now Pretty fast, he said didn't find any viruses. No infected files were found on this disk. Nice. So it works nice. There is some custom sound on this machine. Yeah, uh, the machine appeared to have been last used in '98. Um, I think I will do a review video of this machine when it will be back together with another hard drive, hopefully, and a new new capacitor on the board because those little CMS capacitor are leaking and it sometimes prevents the the startup as uh, the screen stay black, uh, which is a known problem. And the capacitor are at fault. I need to change it. Like I'm not <laughs> all of my whole Macintosh.